Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I was looking through my videos the other day and I noticed I haven't posted a makeup haul at all, like in forever. So um, I thought that was really weird because I have been buying makeup and if you follow me on Instagram, you know that because I um, take pictures of new stuff that I buy, I swatch them for you guys and everything. So I thought it was really weird I haven't posted up a video, um, a haul video. So that's what I'm gonna be doing today and I've been to tons of places. I'll mention where I've been um, when I show you the product that I have so let's jump into it I'll do like the boring stuff first because I do have some boring things here um, we'll start off with this buffer it's a nail buffer I really needed a new one because I like to buff my nails um, before I paint my nails because it keeps my nail nice and smooth so needed that and then I also got um, these jumbo makeup wedges sponges thingies um, I have like a new liquid foundation so I thought I could use these with that um, so so those are two things and then also I got um, the like nail polish swatcher wheel thing I don't know what it's called oh it's called nail polish and art wheels so um, when I buy new nail polish and stuff I always swatch them for you guys and I didn't have this I would just do it like on a piece of paper or something so I thought this would be a good investment for me so I can show you guys some things and I actually used one today um, so you'll see that in a few minutes so that's another boring kind of thing oh another boring thing um, also for nails I got the Sally Hansen salon manicure cuticle cuticle eraser and balm it looks like this I have really dry cuticles and I bite them so I think this will help me out a little bit I don't know we'll see and then also I got um, this nail art brush and um, it has like a really small thin like brush up here so I can do like lines and zigzags and stuff and then on the other end it's a daughter so I can do like polka dots so that's cool and I'm not sure how much this was this was I got at Sally's beauty supply oh my god a lot of this stuff I got at Sally's um, this was five dollars and thirty nine cents so you know whatever and also from Sally's beauty supply I got these two like hair sample thingies um, these were both 99 cents and if you buy two of these you get a free orly nail polish so I got one for curly hair since my hair is curly this is um, a hair cleanser and conditioner with argan oil so I got this one and then I also got an olive conditioner that's what it says here so these are interesting I was like I can't pass up a free nail polish so why not buy these two things there's only there were only two dollars so that pretty much sums up the like boring stuff now on to the makeup and nail polishes I got my eyebrow pencils I always need these I just go through them like crazy I do my eyebrows every day so um, these are just by covergirl they're called the brow and eye makers and I'm in soft brown and then a really long time ago my sister got me this physician's formula blush and this is in blushing peach and it's a mosaic blush it has like light peach orangey corally colors and then some darker browns in here it's really pretty I love it I find myself reaching for this blush a lot and then another blush that I got is the Milani baked blush in luminoso um, I heard so many great things about this blush so I saw it at CVS and I had a gift card so I decided to buy it and it is so pretty it looks like this it's a nice peachy corally blush um, so that's Beautiful the balm was on hot look not too long ago, and I have been dying to buy the Mary luminizer It's just a highlight comes in this package and the balm. I'm telling you they have the cutest packaging um, It just looks like this the packaging and then when you open it if I can get it open ooh, Okay, it is just a really pretty like champagne gold highlight. It is gorgeous. I love it I've been using this like non freaking stop so Good purchase by them. I think this was like nine or twelve dollars. One of those two. I'm not sure. I have three more makeup products. The next item that I want to show you is this Maybelline Color Whisper. I'm actually wearing it on my lips today, and I'm not a huge lip fan. Like I don't like bright or bold lips, so I thought this would be kind of a good start for me. I guess this is in Pin It Up Peach, and it's just a gorgeous peach color. I love these um, Maybelline Color Whispers a lot. I like them a lot better than the Ma um, Maybelline, the Revlon lip butters. They don't um, irritate my lips as much so that's good and then this I am so excited for I have been looking for a nude eyeliner like 
forever and I was gonna buy the one at Target by Pixie um, it's called their eye brightener and that was $17 and I had it in my hand ready to buy and then I went to the register and I was like I really I don't know I'm just not gonna buy it so I put it down and then I went to Walmart over the weekend and I saw that Rimmel came out with some new eyeliners and this is in the color nude and it's really pretty I have it on my waterline today and it just really opens up my eyes I have really small eyes so this helps kind of make them look a little bit bigger so I'm really glad that I got this and then I also bought the L'Oreal new no it says new but L'Oreal new true match um, liquid foundation and I'm in the color warm three nude beige and I'm not the one to buy like tons of new foundations just because I just find that my face will just break out so I try not to um, try out tons of new foundations but I heard this one was really good so I decided to try it out. Like I said before, I had a gift card from CVS, so I bought this with it, and I'm wearing it today, and I absolutely love it so far. Now onto the nail polish. I have quite a few to show you guys, so the first one I'll start off with is the like boring one. This is Revlon's Treat and Boost, and this is supposed to promote healthy nail growth and resist breaking and splitting, and I got this because Revlon nail polishes were buy one, get one 50% off. So um, the second nail polish I got was pink cashmere it looks like this and I have the swatch um, you can barely tell the difference between like the ones that aren't painted but it's this guy right here it's just a really pale white and it has like a little like pink undertone so I thought it was really pretty I don't have a white nail polish but I like this because it's kind of like a um, off whitish color so the next nail polish I'll show you um, is the Sally Hansen Hard as Nails nail polish in breezy blue and I love these nail polishes so much. I think they last so much longer than the really expensive nail polishes like Essie and OPI. I mean I love Essie and OPI but these guys last so much longer um, than they do. So the breezy blue is also very light. You'll, um, I don't think you'll be able to tell it's this color right here. So yeah, it's very light, but it's a really light pale blue. I think it's going to be so perfect for spring, so I can't wait for that. And the other Sally Hansen nail polish that I got was just in black. It's called Blackout, and this is it right here. All the nail polish that I swatched were all with one coat, because I just want to show you guys what it's like just with one coat. Um, so this one could probably use one more coat, and it would be so perfect, so love this. And then the Orly nail polish that I got um, free is this one right here it is called green with envy it's really pretty and this is the color right here this could use probably three coats it's very very um light it's not that pigmented or opaque so um but it, it's still a beautiful color and then the two sc nail polishes that i got and i instagrammed both of these and everybody loved it and i had it on my nails as well i'll post a picture like right here um the first one is mint candy apple it is just a really nice kind of bluish minty color and the swatch is right here so pretty i love this color and then um, the next one I have is Play Date by Essie. It's just a nice, like, medium purple. It's not a dark purple. It's not like a lilac lavender-y color either. It's so pretty, and the swatch is right here. Um, and I got both of these guys at Publix, which is weird because I usually never buy my makeup at Publix, but that day I did. Actually, my boyfriend bought it for me, so thank you. But I love those two colors. And then the last nail polish that I have is by Flower, which is Drew Barrymore's new line, and it is called Gorgeous Gerbera. Sorry, like the sun is just messing up this whole video right now. And the swatch is right here. It's just a nice peachy corally color. It kind of matches my blazer that I have on. And I actually have that color on my nails. I have mint candy apple right here on my ring finger and then um, gorgeous Gerbera right here on my fingers. So I almost forgot to show you guys these two products, but um, I bought two new products from Drew Barrymore's flower line. It's the same day that I got this nail polish. I got the eyeshadow quad in Foxy Browns. I love this eyeshadow quad so much. It's been like my everyday makeup look for like a week now. And then I also got the um, blush and bronzer duo. This is in Beachy Keen. And this is so pretty. I'm actually wearing it today. If you can tell, I don't know. I am so far loving 
loving these two products. I will be doing a review on the um, eyeshadow quad pretty soon, so stay tuned for that. And other than that, I think that's pretty much it. So that is the end of my makeup haul. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram and subscribe if you haven't already. I would really appreciate it. So hope you guys are having a great day, and I'll see you next time. Bye.